And here we are with <coughs> Micah Curtis's, or Curtis, or however that you supposed to say that when it ends in an S and there's, I don't know. Is it proper to say Micah Curtis? Or, and you know, I mean, or, or should you, when you're, sp when you're speaking, should you say Micah Curtis's? I don't know. Englewood, book two. <coughs> Through blood and tragedy, a saint is born. So the fourth campaign. Uh, it's only at 40% of its $15,000 fixed goal. Um, that's a bit of a, a steep hill to climb for, you know, smaller CG creators. Now, recently there was some... Um, I don't know, was it really controversy? There was There was recently some talk... <clears throat> um, about Micah Curtis again. Apparently, the you know he has been throwing Liam under the bus after siding with Liam, sort of. And of course, Micah has a long history of doing stupid things, like picking a fight with <laughs> with Razor Fist of all people. Um, anyway, so and then uh, I think. Uh, Micah appeared on, well, was it Well Red's stream or something? And it seems like that was the stream that he appeared on. And uh, Nathan showed up, and they talked, and Micah claimed that he'd never said anything unpleasant about Ethan. And Ethan was like, "No, dude, I, you know, I, you know, it's like I saw what I saw. You definitely said, you know, bad things about me." <clears throat> so. Picking a fight with Ethan is also not really a wise move, especially in CG circles. Uh, not if you want people's goodwill, and if you're asking them for money, you want their goodwill. <laughs> uh, you got nine days left. Eighty-nine backers, six thousand ten dollars. Um, I don't have any clue how long this has been up. If if he's still got an extension left, then it's possible that he's going to meet his funding goal. Um. But if he does not have an extension left, or if he doesn't choose to extend, if he if he does have uh, the option, uh, then it looks like this campaign is going to fail. At least right now. Right now, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> well, they, they look worried, don't they? Yes. Um... Uh, overview, Mike Curtis, Brian Martinez, and Armand Strange are taking you back to the Windy City for Inglewood Book 2. Um, I, I, I'm I assuming, I don't really know because I, I, you know, I've never been to Chicago or never been, pardon me, to any area around it. But I'm thinking Inglewood is like a neighborhood or something? Is it like the equivalent of like Queens or the Bronx or something, you know, in Chicago, I guess. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> or Harlem. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this time around, the boys bring you a 66-page full-color graphic novel that concludes the arc that began in the first issue of Inglewood. So it's just a two-issue story, I guess. I don't know. Um, or is it just one story that's being concluded but the series will continue. I don't know. Um, after sticking up for one of his students, former MMA heavyweight champion Elijah Wallace's Jim is struck in a drive-by shooting with the culprit being the very gang lieutenant that he had fought off earlier in that day. Amidst the blood and bodies of his students, Elijah vows that he will bring justice for the lives lost. The police are unable to deliver it due to the crooked nature of Chicago. Well, we all kind of know about that, I think. I mean, just look at the fucking mayor, you know? It's like, Mayor Beetlejuice, is, as most people call her, I think. Um, the woman has, like, eight head instead of four head. <laughs> uh... Not uh, not one to be deterred, Elijah Wallace decides that philanthropy is simply not enough to change the city that he loves. I gotta... I, I'm... 
I understand liking your hometown, whatever your hometown happens to be, and I guess if you were born and raised in a big city, then that's your hometown. Um, but the way that in, in comics and whatnot you keep on hearing people talk about, you know, I love this city, you know, the hero's always loving the city, and it's like, why, though? Because usually the cities in question um, are absolute shitholes. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, and and uh, you know, not being from a big city, it's like I don't get the appeal. I know a lot of people live in big cities. Most people, in fact, live in big cities, and I know that a lot of people like it. Apparently, although I don't think anywhere near all the people that live there like it. Um, but to me, the idea of loving living in a city, I know. I live in a very small city, and yet I still am not overly thrilled about the fact it's a city. It's like the city government is usually trying to find a way to fuck everybody in the ass without lube. So, <laughs> and if they're doing it that, that bad out here in the relative, you know, relatively speaking, the sticks, then, you know, imagine how fucking bad it is to be in a big city with an even more onerous bureaucracy at place. Uh... Uh, he needs to take a more physical approach. He dons the black hood of the saint and hits the streets, intending to bring Carlos and his gang down, one man at a time. Uh, if you're a fan of comics like Batman, Daredevil, Shang-Chi, I'd never heard of that until the new movie, um, and I still don't know a fucking thing about it. Or Iron Fist. Hadn't heard about that one either until the, the Netflix series happened. Um, or love video games like Streets of Rage... And final fight. Not familiar with those offhand. Uh, this is the comic for you. Uh, well, certainly I've known about Batman my whole life, and uh, I guess the first time, like I, you know, not being into comics really as a kid, uh, I wasn't aware of Daredevil probably until he appeared on the '90s Spider-Man the Animated Series. He had a guest spot on that, so that would have been the first time that I learned about the existence of Daredevil. Hmm. It's amusing expressions. Quite colorful. Hmm. Posters. Is there a purpose to those lighting up? Is that an indication that they're electrified or something? The fuck? Uh. What? What is that? So far, it sounded like this guy is is just a vigilante. You know, he's just he's just a guy who's really buff and gonna kick the shit out of gang members who are also pretty buff and you know just ordinary people. That looks like either a you know like mutant or supernatural sort of creature. Uh, art prints exclusive to Windy City Special. Well, there's certainly a lot of <coughs> death in Chicago. Guess Michael lives in Chicago, does he? Probably. Doesn't Nasser live in Chicago, too? Is uh. a of innocence? Hmm. It's interesting. T shirt. I'm not uh, um okay I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that Solomon's temple that this is like the the dude's gem, right? It must be. That must be the point because otherwise what the what the fuck are you doing with a t-shirt that uh, th you know otherwise would have nothing to do with the comic. Like you'd think that oh the t-shirt it should have like a you know some dynamic action, you know, thing from the comic with artwork. Nope. A logo for presumably the gem, the fictional gem of the of the fictional character. 
Features uh, be in the book. Snag some posters, art prints, snag a t-shirt. Englewood Peregrine, comic born from a badass poster. Uh, and I'm hmm. I don't remember when Peregrine was supposed to ship, but I wouldn't. I'm, I'm kind of thinking it missed that date, unless I set it really far out, because it seems like it's been quite a long time since that campaign ended and it still hasn't shipped yet. <laughs> Um, I think, uh, I think maybe, uh, isn't, isn't the guy that's doing, that's running that campaign, is he the one that was, t uh, sending out an update telling everybody about his parents' medical conditions? And it's like, dude, you know, like, it's okay for you to not violate HIPAA on your own fucking parents. It's like, just tell us that they have medical problems and, and you're, you know, and you're running behind because of that. You don't, you don't need to lay out every detail about, about how they're doing to us. <laughs> Um, give away a crossover print for free to all physical backers. Uh, wait a minute. Of Inglewood Book 2 and Peregrine Book 2? Wait a minute. I thought Peregrine was only Book 1 so far. Pretty sure. Is this for something future? I don't know. Stretch goals to be determined. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to need any stretch goals. Not from the way things are going at the moment. Um, all right, let's look at the tiers. Windy City Special. What in the Hijo Del? What the fuck is that? Um, Seventy-five dollars, five claimed. Estimated shipping December, so it's not a super long way off, but it's a ways. Uh, graphic novel, uh, graphic novel, digital, digital. I'm surprised that he's doing digital. That's a good thing, though. Uh, Solomon's Temple Gym T-shirt. I was right. Okay, poster, art prints. Uh, two eleven by seventeen, plus three art prints. So two posters, three art prints. It doesn't. Uh, I don't not sure what the prints are. Uh, the comic, twenty five dollars. That's standard comic skate pricing. And it's just the physical. Looks like sixty six pages though. So. Decent length, uh, 31 claimed. The digital con, oh my god, Micah, seriously? Holy fucking shit, look at that shit. Look at that, see, this is exactly what, again, I think Ethan denied saying this, but I know goddamn well that I heard him say it on a, on a stream, that I heard him recommend to somebody, again, maybe he wasn't recommending to everybody, and maybe he was only recommending to whoever he was specifically talking to on that stream, but I know that I heard him say, this about suggesting that yeah you know offer the digital but offer the digital at the same price as the physical so yes <laughs> which by the way don't do that don't do that three claimed I'm not I'm surprised that even three have been fucking claimed look at that shit they must be like international backers or something but uh, seriously it's like that that is really fucked up in my opinion when you do like oh yeah the physical is twenty five dollars I mean if the physical was ten dollars and you want to offer the digital for ten dollars as well it's like okay that's not terrible um but it's like most people who offer a digital they're offering their digital for like five bucks you know usually the physical is 10 15 something like that but if you're doing a physical for 25 and you're like oh i'm going to offer a digital oh good you know especially for international backers that's great what's the price on that digital going to be 25 as well it's like what the fuck just for one fuck it, fuck you. So yeah, that's terrible. Don't don't fucking do that, people. Don't don't uh, twenty five dollars for one fucking issue digital. Fuck you. That is ridiculous. Book and posters, graphic novel, and a poster, four claimed. Oh, apparently that's Dracula, Saint versus Dracula. Uh, book and shirt, $45. Self-explanatory, four claimed. Hmm. Book one and two, whole story so far. 
66 page book 2, 50 page book 1, director's cut, whatever that means. $45. Uh, 13 claimed. Be a cop. Sold out. 2 of 2 claimed. $275. Damn. You have to be a real narcissist to pay a shit ton of money to have yourself drawn into a comic, I should think. But, you know, whatever. You wanna... <laughs> it, you know... For every weird desire that people have, there's somebody willing to cater to it. All right, let's take a look at the shipping. Oh, another book. So you can add an extra copy for $25. Uh, six claimed. Notice on a lot of these campaigns, there's also not very much in the way of people offering um, discounts. Like... You can get one for the price of one, or two for the price of two, or three for the price of three. It's like, I understand, it's like, if you actually have calculated in that you absolutely have to have that much in order to print it or whatever, and, and have a, a, a an acceptable profit margin for yourself, okay, fair enough. You know, you know what your expenses are and whatnot. But, just just as a standard marketing sort of thing... When you're trying to make a sale to people, you know, to human beings, it's nice to offer them a slight incentive. Like, oh, you can get two for the price of just less than two, you know, and f and if you go for three, then there's a little bit greater discount, you know, and the higher, you know, it's like just keep on like that, and it's like even though you're you should, I mean, it depends, but. You should be able to structure it so that you're still going to be able to pay for, you know, making the product or, you know, or buying the product, however it is, and be able to make a decent profit. But you're also able to offer them a slightly increasing discount at each higher level uh, of, of what they're paying you for. So, you know, it's like they're they're getting more bang for their buck, if only slightly, and you're making a bigger and bigger sale. That's just I mean, that's just standard, you know common sense. Uh, but very few people seem to do it in this uh, in the crowdfunding comic scene. Uh, and especially not CG. <laughs> especially not CG creators, it seems. Um, Alright, $10 US, that is standard Comicsgate fare, so it is 35 out the door. Uh, $30 international, which is not as bad as it has been, but not as good as it could be either. But again, that's the beauty of offering digital. Although, when you're offering digital for that fucking expensive, it, you know. I don't know. Books and poster. Oh my god. Even, even to pretend, let's not get, let's not get a cuck poster. <laughs> uh... Oh, and at this higher tier, you can get book one as an add-on. Four of those been claimed. Twenty bucks. The first one. And this is ups it to fifteen dollars US and forty international. Book and a shirt. Whoa goes up to 4XL. Most people like stop at like, you know, 2XL when they offer shirts. Micah is offering uh, shirts for big boys. Uh, 15 and 40 also on that. Uh, and then hmm, book 1 and 2 for 45. And you can also add on another of either or both. And it's 10 and 30, okay. And then the feature tier, which is the largest tier, at least the, lar the most expensive one remaining. Um, although that other one, I don't... Well, I mean, it doesn't say. It's sold out, so you don't get to see the details, which that's something Indiegogo should change. It'd be nice to still be able to see what it was that it entailed. Um, 
Presumably it entailed at least getting a single copy of the book. For that kind of money, you ought to offer free shipping on it. <laughs> on that one copy that somebody's getting. Um, Alright, so 75. That's uh, the book, the shirt, digital, poster, and prints. Uh, it says two posters and three prints. And still option to add on that. And it is 25 shipping to the U.S. So domestic shipping 25, international 50. And that's, you know, makes it $100 out the door domestic. It's fairly expensive, but, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad as such things go. And over the <laughs> expressions. <laughs> that's, that's, uh... Yeah. Kind of hilarious, uh, you know, faces on these characters. Except for the main character who, you know, can't see his face. I mean, I assume at some point in the book you can, but you know, what we're getting right here is just him and his mask, so you can't see him. Mask up. <laughs> All right, so there it is, and um, there was. was it I don't know there's all these damn pages I'm trying to keep track of all this shit all the all, all the the talk of everything going on on the farms. And the farms has been up and down a lot, too. Is this? this is. Yeah, the farms have been... There's a, an old picture, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is a, a... You know, I don't know if I should... Maybe I should do this as a, as a separate video. Or maybe not. I don't know. I mean... When this when was this posted? This was the twenty first. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm. I, I yeah, I don't think so. I'm not, I don't. I don't think I'm going to bother doing a separate video on all this crap. Um, and you know, but yeah, there there was you know recent whatever with, with discussing. Uh, Micah. And we're surely too far in now. God, can't keep track of any of this shit. Oh, here we go. So, they point out. Yeah, apparently. I don't know if he's been in a fight or what, the, you know, <laughs> what's going on there. Uh, you know. Not looking as 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 good apparently lately. Uh, of course, I you know on the the stream that I caught part of there, it's like he wasn't on uh, he wasn't on camera, so he couldn't. Man, can't keep can't find anything on here. Can't keep track of anything on here. The fucking. Farms desperately need better organization or something, and the farms have been under attack apparently or something. So keep on, you know, keep on going down and trying to read something, trying to figure out you know what's going on, and it's like oh no nope, no, nope. some kind of cloud flare whatever you know error page. Oh here this is th I guess this is worth uh, yeah. alien xenomorph. What do you think about Micah Curtis? I don't know who that is. 
uh, some guy who got cranky because my book is published by somebody he doesn't like. Odd. That sounds a lot like cancel culture to me, doesn't it? Ugh, my back. Uh, I think he it, might be cranky because he has to wake up every morning looking like that and having no talent. I think that might have a little bit more to do with it. <laughs> looking like a bearded fucking thumb every day. I'd be pretty God. fucking pissed, too. Crusader Saracen. Cancel dick Politburo pube. Thank fucking you. cancel someone on the left. Thank you for the dollar. Oh, we already talked about Trump and the flu. Uh, oh, hey, and did I mention Vox Day has done more for the right uh, fucking before you were back when you were still getting your goddamn politics from Green Day? He was fucking writing regular articles for fucking World Net Daily, a mainstream conservative publication, by the way, and blow it at your narrow ass. <laughs> Micah named after like he has a name like the 15th fucking kid in a Mormon family. Fuck off. Go fuck your second cousin. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, not, not, you know, not, uh, not wise to pick f fights with Razor Fist. Anyway, so, um, there is Micah's book. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a, a very brief sort of, of taste of, uh, you know, recent talk of him. Um, you know, check it out. Back it if you're interested. Um, I'm, you know, even if I might have been interested, I would have been interested in a digital that was reasonably fucking priced. So, anyway. Ugh. Alright. Uh, until the next one. <laughs>